Chapter 24, Flora. Excerpt from the Citizens' Assembly on the Raising of Taxes on the Gridlock. Report number 376. Testimony from Ms. Gail Nimer. Why are we rushing through this? We're going to regret this. The city has enough money. It shouldn't have to do this. It just wants to keep paying the salaries it used to pay and running this tax increase under the veil of it being for the Hope Runners. Flora's body and heart ached. She had lost control. As she walked back home, the race came back to her, and she couldn't explain it to herself. Her father was in front of her, running. She had maintained her composure so well, remaining on course, avoiding being bumped out of Sonny and Buck's boxed wedge. It was crowded as she ran through their dust, her emotions alongside her. As exhaustion and shortness of breath crept in, Sunny slowly morphed into her father, running away from her. That sight allowed her to channel her cacophony of emotions into a focused sprint ahead of Arjun into second place. Her mind lost control. Why did you leave, Dad? Why did you run away? Her dissatisfaction and heavy breathing collapsed into anger. What did you protect us from? You hid the truth from us. The dust was spraying against her mech. She was so close to him. Screw you, Dad. Why? 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 And then her heart took control. She kicked her Mets jets into high gear and flew into the back of Sunny, sending both of them tumbling down the dunes. When Flora came back to the reality of the race, she suddenly realized she was in sixth place, Omo in front of her and Mickey on her heels. She jumped over Sunny that was knocked out cold and boosted into a run. The final corner loomed ahead. Mickey was on her heels and she knew what she had to do to ensure she didn't edge past her, dash dancing. In an instant, she landed her body weight to one side and then dashed to the other side. She hadn't really done it on the sand before, but it felt easier as she seemed to skate along. As she came up to the second to last dune, she panicked. There was no way she would catch up to Omo. Her competitor dropped over the peak of the dune, taking along Flora's answers with her. It's then that the manuals came back to her. Twister. She had to take the risk. Instead of following the curve of the final dune, she flew straight up. And then, the unimaginable. Like in the simulator, she aimed straight for it, turning into a twist and drilling right through it. As she fumbled through on the other side, she could glimpse Omo panic above her. Shaking off the sand as she sprinted, Flora ran the last section like her entire life depended on it. It did. She didn't know who she was otherwise. Collapsing over the finish line in fifth place, she gasped, not just for air, but for gaining control over herself again. She shook off the memory as she stood with a dejected slouch in front of the driver's side door of their home. She got fifth place. She was in the final trial. She was supposed to be happy, to be content. But all she felt was sadness and disappointment. She wasn't even entirely sure if it was sadness and disappointment. It was deeper and existential. A part of herself that she regarded as part of her, that defined her, suddenly felt alien. It was like a demon that didn't want answers, but merely thrived on questions a Moorish alter-ego parasite that absorbed its host. Flora opened the door. Her mother was sitting at the kitchen table, dressed all fancy. It's exactly how Flora left her this morning. She realized her mother didn't even attend the trial. Mom? I tried. I really tried. After you left, I tried. I put on the new dress, I put on makeup, and I made it to the door, but it all just hurt too much. I'm so sorry. Flora's shoulders sank even more. It doesn't even matter. Do you know how I did? Madeira nodded. Mom, I got fifth. Fifth! But that should be worth celebrating. Flora shook her head. Do you know why I lunged at Sunny from behind? It's because I saw Dad running in front of me. I was angry at him. Angry at him for leaving us. Angry that he hid the truth from us. And then, I did the same to you, hiding the truth from you. I didn't deserve it. I wanted it all to just crash and burn. Then why did you get up? Flora knew why. It was her demon. She sank her face into her palms before looking at her mother. I want to see Dad. I want to tell him how I feel. Madeira extended her hand. Flora, hey, look at me. Flora lifted her face towards her mother. 
I accept your apology for keeping the truth from me. I want to apologize as well. I should have been a better mother. I should have pressed River about what he was hiding. Instead, I was running away from it, not supporting him and not pushing him. It still hurts. All of it still does. I'm experiencing things again that I thought I had neatly packed away. Seeing you run in the championship, you hiding the truth from me, it all just leaves me open and vulnerable. However, even at my old age, you are teaching me new things. We can be courageous but scared at the same time, so I will keep trying, like you. I can't promise I will be the best, but I can promise that I will try. Madeira clasped her daughter's hand tighter and held back tears. We don't know how much time we have. It really meant a lot to hear that from her mother, but this was a reckoning that had been a long time coming. I'm done. I'm quitting. I never had a choice. Not until she knew who she really was. Not until she knew who she was without her questions. Her mother, stunned, nonetheless, hugged Flora. Flora. 